Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and this is Just Christine. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my how I'm going to decorate for the month of August. Um, and it's going to be in my Hobonichi cousin. So if you guys are interested in this, please stay tuned. Okay, so as much as I love Tomo River paper, um, and as much as I love um, the whole Benichi cousin, I'm at a point in my planner where it's starting to bother me. I think last time I did this um, this Hobonichi um, decoration, someone asked me if I can show you how thick it has gotten. So I just wanted to show you guys how thick it is. And this is me not... So I decorate every week, but not that much. And I don't use all of the dailies. Um, I only journal a couple of times a month and it's already this big and yeah. Um, you can, however, like obviously if you flip to a page, one side is going to be obviously thicker than the other side depending on where you are in your planner um it gets really kind of annoying as you get to the journal part because this is a lot i don't know like it's a lot thicker and obviously it's a lot more um it's less even since all the stickers are kind of like you're already feeling all the uh the dents and bumps on this side um this side obviously is not going to be a problem since um it hasn't been written on yet um the one good thing about this planner is you can kind of like move the pages around and you don't have to worry about um breaking the spine because the the spine is very flexible i guess you would say so that's that's one thing to watch out for if you are thinking of getting a um a hobonichi cousin in the future um last year i did have the the hobonichi avec which is divided in two um january to june and then july to december and I think that's a little bit more manageable since you get it doesn't get as thick as the months go by. Um, but I don't know. It still kind of works for what you what you need, and you kind of can even it out, which is really good. I don't know if mm, all the notebooks are like this. Like even if it's Tomo River um, paper, I don't know how well it holds in the spine area but for the hobonichi it's definitely it's worth the purchase in my opinion anyways let's get on with the decorations um so i'm going to be decorating for this month um the month of august and i'm gonna be going a little bit more summerish in my spreads for this um for this month because um it's technically august is like the last month of of summer for us canadians and i kid you not like as, as soon as september hits the we the weather starts to get a little bit cooler um not so much like you know it's not freezing cold you can still wear shorts and a tank top but the weather does tend to get cooler <laughs> um so anyways i'm going to be using this um washi from simply gilded and it's like i think it's it was released like a couple of years ago it's her neon um it's the neon i don't even know what it's called oh my god it's the neon um i keep trying to say a selection but it's not um anyways it's in neon pink and then I'm going to be using this decoration from the Happy Planner. And it's just like a bunch of like summer related stickers. And I'm just going to be putting it throughout the uh, the monthly. 
Um, I don't really go crazy with the decorations because I do need to write on here. Um, and I decided to go a little bit brighter because I can't really use the, um, the neon color for, for like winter or spring or even fall. I mean, like I definitely could. It's not like there's any, there's any, uh, rules and regulations on what you can use and can't use for your planner. But just like, I just find it weird if I do try to use something, um, bright and like i said it's not like i can use it all the time okay i feel like if i put too um neon pink it'll be a little bit too much so i am going to just put the thicker of the two and see what else i have in my stash that i could possibly use for this month that would go very well with this um, neon pink so we'll put down the 15 millimeter and then we'll also put down some decorations and then maybe i'll do this after the fact so i'm not going to be putting all the decos in it i'm just gonna be picking and choosing and hopefully so I'm gonna put the burger since you know we usually do um, barbecues in during the summertime and then I'm gonna be putting these watermelons because like who doesn't love a good watermelon during the um, during the, the warmer months. And I also really want to put these ants, but I don't know why. I just find them really, really cute. Um, like, I'm not gonna go crazy on them, but they're at least there. So we don't really have big plans for the month of um, August. Actually, we don't really have that many plans for the summer because my husband and I are going um, on vacation in January. And yeah, so then I put that sandcastle there. And we are also thinking of going to an amusement park. Um, for the month of August. We just haven't really decided on when. And I think that should be enough. Maybe I'll do one more popsicle. And some sunglasses. And I will put it here. Perfect. And maybe the sunglasses can go here. Okay, so that is my monthly for August and I'm going to be going by the uh, for the weeklies now. Okay, so I have my planner like this because I wanted you guys to see the difference. So this side is the side where I have all the decorations. This is from, well actually, yeah, this is from uh, January to, to June, sorry, to July. So you guys see how thick it's gotten. There's a bunch of decorations on it. There's also a lot of washi. And then this is what is the remainder for the year, which is from August to, to December. So it does get quite chunky. Um, so if you are one of those people who journal or junk journal, or you guys like to put a lot of things on your planner, in terms of decorations and you do a lot of like mixed media sort of um mixed media mix art stuff art supply stuff um then yeah just be really really um cautious of that um it will get thick if it doesn't bother you then um then 
I hope Anichi Cousin is for you guys. Um, it really does hold up very, very well. I've seen a lot of people who has gone crazy in their Hobonichi, and it works for them. So, okay. Sorry, I just choked there. Um, okay, so let's start with the first month. Is this the first one? Yeah. So let's start with the first um, week in August. And this is from July 29th to August 4th. Um, I'm actually off on August 2nd because um, August, what is this? August 5th is a holiday for some people here in Canada. Uh, sorry, I didn't even tell you guys what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using this... Um, washi from the simply gilded this is actually purchased the same time as this so this is the neon pink this is the neon yellow i think i also have the neon purple the neon neon green and i think i also have the neon blue um and i've been trying to you guys know i've been trying to use my my washi for quite some time now and actually um fun fact my next few sorry i'm not my next few my next um planner for 2025 i have actually thought of using uh, actually no i haven't thought i am going to be using a happy planner because one i don't have to deal with this bulkiness situation when i'm planning because if you guys don't know um, happy planner is a disc bound planner so it's just easier for me to take out the paper and and then use it like that and that's going to be my catch-all planner um so if you guys are a happy planner uh planners <laughs> then i will be doing a lineup definitely for the 20 for 2025 oh sorry this is gonna be the kit that i'm gonna be using to decorate this spread i don't know why i didn't tell you guys to be honest i think i only have enough for like this this um picture right there um and that one is from the pretty pink co it's called sunshine and i got it during her I think I got it during her um, advent calendar. It's not that I think, I know. I got it during the advent calendar. Um, it was one of the envelopes for for that, for that, um, the advent calendar. Um, so she actually still has that in her shop. Not the advent calendar, the kit. Sorry, I'm not making sense today, but if you guys like that sunshine kit she has it up in her in her um in her site in her shop yeah um okay so i will be taking this and i'm going to be using it on the side here as you guys know i just usually try to well i'm not gonna pick that up it's not really straight but it is what it is and then I actually really like the florals in this spread. So I'm going to take this big one here. And I'm actually going to try to put it here. I just dropped the washi. But that's okay. I'm probably going to put this here. I usually put my... Like, you know what I ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? So I guess I'm not doing that for Saturday and Sunday. And I'm there's just a bunch of like these little tiny flowers that I can just put throughout the spread. I am not doing this in any shape or form. I'm just putting it as is throughout the spread because why not? It looks kind of uniform. Like, I didn't want to put it in, like, any specific area, but... Okay, there. So that is for the week 
of July 29th to August 4th. I didn't even use any Tombow markers. Give me a second. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll use this for this one. You know what? No, I'm not going to mark my work hours because my work, um, starting August, we are changing shifts. Like we've already started changing shifts um, this week. It's currently September 8th, it's not September 18th, August, no, July 18th. Oh, wow. I am like all over the place today. Um, today is currently July 18th and we have started um, kind of changing our shifts, but the shift is definitely going to be changing for August because um, my coworker is finally back from her mat leave and yeah. So I'm not gonna be doing that for this um, for this month. Okay, so moving on to August 5th to the 11th. Like I said, this is the, um, the holiday weekend and I'm going to be using this um, washi from Simply Gilded. I don't even know why I keep telling you guys where it's from because all my washies is from Simply Gilded. Um, I have a few, few different ones from different shops, but I hardly use it. So most of the time I just use my Simply Gilded washi. I just find that the Simply Gilded is a little bit more versatile. It doesn't have too many um, decorations, I guess. It just has that bow and yeah, it just goes along with whatever spread I want. And yeah, I'm just a Simply Gilded fan. Um, I haven't really bought anything from her. She had a warehouse sale, but I held off buying anything. I think the last time I bought from her, and I didn't realize this was 2022. Um, so yeah, I haven't really gotten any new washi since then and i don't know um it's bittersweet i guess because i'm i really have been trying not to buy anything from her like i put things in my cart and then take it out and then put it back on again but i just really want to use up my my washi i really thought i bought stuff more recent from her but i was looking at my invoices from her from the from her site and it says that the last time i purchased from her was 2022 which i'm really shocked to be honest um anyway so for this week it's going to be the long weekend um I think we're going to be pretty busy the long weekend only because um, my parents are going to be moving out of their house and we're going to be helping them. Um, so I'm going to be using this, um, I guess, um, Fashion Girls and I'm thinking of either this one or this one, but this is from, this. it says Paper Crown Planner, but this is from the Pretty Pink Co. Um, this is one of their collaboration with the Paper Crown Planner, and that's the reason why it has its name. And yeah, I just really, really find these, this fashion girl is really, really pretty. And I'm thinking of using this girl, but I might get a, hold on, give me a second. Maybe I'll put some kind of background on it. Um, I just fixed this up the other day and I don't really have a lot of like summer stuff, but I do have these, which I can use for the background. So I'll either put this, I'll put this girl instead and sorry, I'm just gonna try to decorate this as well as I could.
Okay. I mean, the color doesn't really do much, but I think it just looks a little bit prettier than if it was just a plain picture of the girl. Okay, so that is for the second week in August. So we're going to be moving on to the third week. And for the third week, I'm actually going to be using the same um, fashion girls be because there's a lot here and I don't really need that many. But I'm going to be using this um, washi also from Simply Gilded. But as you guys can see, I haven't even opened them. Yep. So that's how many how much of a um, hoarder I am of Simply Gilded. I have I have so many that's still unopened. And even though like I don't want to hoard it, it's not like I use it for my spreads. And this is the reason why I am going to be using, well, one of the reasons why I'm going to be using a happy planner is because I feel like with the happy planner, I'm going to be able to decorate a little bit more with my washi. I'm thinking of using a dashboard planner for, for that for next year, which I'm going to be able to just use, um, like I'm not going to be using a kit because like I said, it's going to be my my catch all. So I'm gonna definitely have to like write on it all the time. And yeah, I just, I think it's going to, to be more heavy in the, uh, the washi, um, I think. I haven't really thought out how I'm gonna be decorating it. First, I have to find the planner. Do you guys know how hard it is to find a happy planner dashboard layout here in Toronto? Sorry, in Canada. Well, I guess in Toronto. Like, I've gone to, like, three different Michaels. And one of them is from downtown Toronto. And I could not, for the life of me, find um, the mini happy planner with a dashboard layout um but i don't know hopefully for the um the the release in in september i don't know when when did this happy planner release their um 2025 planners will it be closer to like october november possibly and then maybe they'll have more choices because like the they did do a release for the upcoming um their academic planner which is the uh july start and yeah i i haven't seen a single mini happy planner dashboard layout floating around in any of the michaels that i've been to and like I said, I've gone to at least three and one of them is in downtown. So if if anything, that that Michaels should have something, but they didn't. Um, so I've just been living vicariously with all the uh, Happy Planner um, planners, YouTubers out there because I've been watching a lot of their... Um, plan with me's and oh, I kid you not all their like all their um plan with me's are all so pretty and I don't know I'm getting excited to be able to to buy one for for the next year okay so here I have my um the third week in August and like I said, I'm going to be using this one as well. And I'm really thinking of either using this girl or this girl. Um, but I don't know. I find that it's a little bit too small. And I might have to grab something here. <sighs> I really wish I learned how to like plan out my plan with me's 
because if you guys know this is like a very very old happy planner um sticker it was in 2016 so they've come out with a newer version and the newer ones are really really pretty and i've been itching to buy as well but i am not going to buy anything for the next few months until they come out with their their new line because like i said they're going to be coming out with something sorry i'm just looking in here to see if i can put some kind of background and i'm like getting into christmas now and i don't have anything you know what i'm probably just gonna use this yellow background maybe okay give me a second let me do this off camera okay. i've searched high and low and i don't have anything that would look anything remotely nice except for this so i was thinking of using this or this i don't know it could look like it's sunrise but really it's not um this is from the free spirit um line of the happy planner i think this was released in 2018 so yeah i've had this collection for quite some time um anyway so let me just grab that and then i'm just gonna put it here because i wanted something neutral and i really don't have anything that neutral um so i'm gonna put it here it just looks like spider webs to me now but <laughs> and i'm just gonna grab this girl and put it here <laughs> it really is starting to look like a spider web um but yeah here you go <laughs> it doesn't look so bad um so that is the, the third week and let's just move on <laughs> to the to the last week of august so last week of August is August August 19th to the 25th. Um, last one, I'm, I have something a little bit different. So this is from Katie Makes Stickers. And I'm possibly going to be using this floral right here. And I went a little bit darker because this is kind of like the transition from spring. Sorry, not spring. From summer into um, fall and I thought this big huge um, floral is going to look really really pretty my only problem is I didn't I didn't take out a um, a washi for this so give me a second as I hunt through all my washi and see what I have so don't mind the hearts on this this is during her um this washi was released during the um valentine's day um release but i thought it go it went really well with the uh the florals um i didn't want to go darker since the the floral was already dark so i wanted something a little bit softer this is in like a muted pinkish brown type of um colorway and her stardust collection is actually one of my favorite collection that she has released and i have a ton of them well not a ton but i have quite a few and i went crazy um when i purchased them when i was purchasing washi like crazy um okay so here is the top the um it's not the five millimeter the 10 millimeter and it's so pretty it's very pretty and i think i have it upside down because the hearts are upside down so let me just pull that out and i could hear like little tiny rippings i'm gonna ignore that and <laughs> move this okay so i always so when i use the stardust collection most of the time 
I have it going from like up down because I'm always thinking that it's like floating down rather than moving upwards if you guys get what I mean but clearly this is supposed to go this way because like I said the hearts were upside down um but yeah so this is a really pretty color and this I believe is in rose gold and hollow with a little bit of pink foil because of the hearts um I'm not sure actually if that is if it's rose gold or it's her aurora color um foil um i have been kind of out of the loop lately <laughs> i've just been i follow irene like the owner of simply gilded and like you know she she does create a lot of like really pretty washi but i just never write down the washies that I purchased from her. So even if I want to give you guys the name of this washi, I will not be able to for the life of me, like, um, which is really bad. I should have had some kind of, I don't know, some kind of like organization way of uh, having names on them so that I know. And yeah, uh, it was, in my defense, I was thinking is like, I'm the only one who's ever going to use this. I don't need to know the name. It's not like I'm going to be selling it. Um, so I never really had any, like, you know, like, need to put the name on it. Okay, so the washi is down. And then here is the sticker. Um, I really, really like the florals in this, in this sheet. Um... I just find it so pretty and to be honest Katie makes stickers her transparent matte paper is amazing I'm actually gonna put it all the way to the edge so that I have a little bit more space and it's so pretty um I wanted to maybe put this here but let's just do it so now I only have two left to work with. That's okay. Um, okay, so here is the other one. And like I said, I usually put my breakfast, lunch, dinner on the top here. So let's just say I'm not going to be eating in on Sunday, August 25th. Um, but anyways, yeah, so here is the spread. I think this actually turned out really, really pretty. I really like the simplicity of putting down stickers in my Hobonichi. Um, I will miss it if I ever do decide to, to change it up for next year. Um, I'm still kind of finding a way to keep my Hobonichi and at the same time keep my um, my happy planner but the way i plan i really don't see me having two different planners um i mean besides my memory planner so it's that one is always a given um but yeah this is everything for august um i will come back closer to the end of august to do my september but i can't believe we're already like into august so the months is starting to kind of go a little bit faster i feel like june was super fast and then july i didn't even feel it um i feel like august would just kind of like be it'll come and it'll go and then yeah um anyways if you guys like this video please don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and thank you so much bye